Hi, Luke from Gizmodo. We're testing the Elite Motion. You might be wondering why we're in the dark right now. The interesting thing we found about the Elite Motion is that it doesn't really like our halogen downlights. Uh, not sure if that's just us, but uh, it's something to keep in mind if you're ordering one for yourself. Now, we've just set it up right now. There's Elite Motion sitting on our desk and we've got a speaker here. Uh, I'll just show you what the Elite Motion can see on the screen here. We put our hand out and it can actually just see where we're tracking and things like that. You can see both of our hands very nicely. But how do we put this to work? What's the Elite Motion actually for? We've gone to Airspace, which is the, uh, the main uh, sort of marketplace for, uh, for this sort of stuff, for the Elite Motion apps. And it's actually got uh, Better Touch Control, which is an application for Mac, which I've actually used to configure onto my iTunes. So when this sees my one finger do stuff above the Elite Motion, it's configured to do some stuff. So right now, let's use one finger and let's listen to some music. We've just set this up, so bear with us if it doesn't work completely perfectly. So one finger, up. And that started playing our music, which is really nice, but say for example, I don't really like this song, I want to skip. So if I do one finger to the right, it's going to skip the song. It's a bit loud, I might turn it down. One finger, counterclockwise. That's now muted, but I want to back up, so I'll do one finger the other way, clockwise. And pause it again. And then play. Skip forward. Turn it up, I like the song. Ooh. Small circles. So that's the lead motion. I'm Luke from Gizmodo. Hope you enjoyed it.